Hello, beautiful people. Thank you so much for finding the time to join me on the Victor Ayara Show. My name is Victor Ayara, and I apologize to you uh, for being away for a while. A lot has been happening. Now, on this edition of the program, my guest is a lady that wears many hats. She is a singer, she is a movie producer, she is an actress, she is a business owner here in the United States, and she is an, a serial entrepreneur. Welcome with me to the Victor Ayara Show, Monica Omorodion Suede, also known as Monicization. Happy viewing. person that encompasses a lot of things together to you know so I, I, I thought about Monica's world so instead of nation which is an N I just turn into a Z which is monetization which is uh, can I say it, it means something it means something to me it's uh, Monica nice in the world <laughs> Monica's nation doing Monica, what Monica wants what Monica likes what Monica envisions that's monetization I'm a mom I'm a wife I'm a business owner Artist, I'm a musician, uh, a movie producer, and a um, lot more. Well, I've always known what I wanted to do in life. It's really funny. As a, as a teenager, I was already in the music scene. I was already writing music. I was already writing, and um, at the age of maybe 13, 11, 12, 13, I got a letter. Uh, from Punch in Nigeria concerning my music, um, you know, that I write and I was brought to the industry then. So I've always known that I wanted to be in show business. That was my number one thing that I wanted to do, show business, which is my first love. Well, um, Majek and I were signed into the same um, music uh, company, Polygram Records back in the days. I was in, um, I was in um, high school when I got a, a contract and I was brought to Lagos and uh, during that period of time as a teenager I met my Jack in the studio. I was a kid and uh, it was this big guy but you know it was very nice and um, something happened and eventually my Jack took me under his wings and told me to come on tour with him because at the time when our, our song came out which was with Sound Sound I got taken out because I went back to school, remember I was in, in high school and um, when I came back I was very sad and not so very happy and my dad took me under his wing and told me that um, he would you know, take me on tour with him not to worry and that he would uh, make me smile again which my dad really did at that age, at a young age when I got broken. My dad helped me, he was, he, he was a father to me, a father figure. It was one of the best times of my life. I mean, as a teenager, I was already going to, I mean, I stayed in every hotel, best hotels Nigeria ever had. I went to tour with my check. I mean, when they were going out at night, they would lock me in the hotel room, you know? As a kid, I was not entitled to go out with big people, you know? But it was the best thing I ever had. I mean, we went to every state in Nigeria, toured, sang, and I was this chubby little girl. I mean, when people saw me, they thought I was older, but I was a kid, but a kid that knew what you wanted. So. I, I always tell people, I was like, if I die today, I will live the life that many have not experienced. I mean, it was it was some of the best times of my life. But Jack gave me that. So me going on tour, visiting um, African countries, and uh, coming back to Nigeria, and, and then going back to school. Believe me, a lot of my friends never had that. So you know what? I wouldn't take it back for anything. Monica's Asia. To me, my baby, oh. you're the one that I need. My baby, oh. I am under your influence, your influence, controlling my every sense. You just make me feel magnificent. Say. Under your influence, your influence, controlling my every sense. 
as a kid, I was already making money. I already knew that working brings money, you know? Despite that um, it was show business where I was just having fun, but I was still getting money in. I knew at a very young age that it was important, first of all, to go to school, which I didn't go to because I was touring. Um, by the time I, I was, you know, with uh, Majek and the, and the group. So I left school, but by the time I left Nigeria and came abroad, I kind of left uh, the show business world and went back to school and studied hard. And as a kid that, you know, practically was alone abroad with no father, mother, family members, I, I found a way to find myself. I found a way to do different things, going to school in the daytime, going to work at night and then, you know, taking care of things. I had to multitask. Multitasking was one thing that helped me survive in the kind of world that I was put into. And, um, and um, I would say, I mean, a lot of people going to like colleges, universities in four years, someone like me, I did mine in less than three years. I was, I mean, summer break, winter break, I was in school. I knew I wanted to be out because I didn't have anyone to help me, but that made me a strong person. That made me see what I wanted to be, which today I can say I'm enjoying myself because I mean, at first it was tough, but looking back, it works. Multitasking is the secret of everything that I've done that I've done so far. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm falling in love with movies these days. But you know what? Music is always going to be my number one. And the good news about movies and movies now is that um, I can do music, I can do the soundtrack of the movies, so it works together. Don't make me choose. <laughs> Don't make me choose. from Nigeria for decades and uh, when I went back home I see a different thing from what I've been blessed to see abroad I see a lot of young people that are so smart I mean even if they have uh, degrees they're depressed because they don't have opportunities I've seen so many people that have no hope they lost hope and I always tell people that hope is alive and well I mean we have so much money in this world that I think if we show some love to our neighbors we can actually make a difference in the life of people. So it's, I mean, it came to my heart that there was a way I can give back. And me giving back is trying to educate other people around me. I'm not asking anyone for money, but I'm trying to make people like me, I mean, they have something. I mean, we're not rich. I'm not the richest person in the world. I'm not rich, but I'm comfortable. People like me to try to help others. People you don't know. I mean, there's, a, there's such a great thing in blessing people giving them something that would normally would not have the chance, people would not have the chance to give. Showcase Africa is, a, is about showcasing Africa to the world. I mean, a lot of people have their own perspective of what Africa is. If you ask somebody in the street now that has never been to Africa, what's Africa? Some people think we live on trees, some people think we have nothing, some people think we're not blessed. But Africa is a blessed, blessed nation. And I think our traditions, our, our colorful things, our colorful lives, I mean, our our way of life is very important to share with the world and I think that um, uh, it will you know, educate other people, mostly those that have not been to Africa, to see who we are and uh, where we're coming from and where we're going, our foods, our clothing, our education, our way of life, good or bad, whatever it is, showcasing Africa in a raw fashion. I think it's, a, it's an initiative that um, a lot of people would really love to see and understand.
would say the um, the award I got from the Americans, which was the Academia Award, I was surprised. You know, they're not of Africans; they don't understand Afrobeat. Like, oh, I'll take it back. Maybe they understand Afrobeat. Fela was one of the biggest stars. I mean, I got a call from them, them telling me about the fact that they love my video, they love my music, which was uh, titled Palava. And I was invited to LA, and I got that award. I I appreciate that award uh, very much. I appreciate all the awards I've gotten so far, and I pray to God that we get more of them. But um, you know, when someone from another culture recognizes your work, it's something, and I like that. So the Academia Award that I got, I appreciate that. Well, that's our show for today. I hope that you enjoyed the interview with Monica. And please do not forget to follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook. Uh, the Victor Ayara Show is the page for this show. And of course, if you want to give us some feedback, we really appreciate that. It would be info at victorayara.net. That's the official email for this show. And don't forget that you also can do the most important thing as a viewer of this program free of charge subscribe all right thank you and my name is victor ayara until i come your way with another episode another interesting interview stay with us and be blessed bye <laughs>